Hello and good morning students, I am Shudipto. Good morning students of class 8. Yesterday or uh, in this previous class, I discussed about the answer of chapter number 2, nouns. Okay, about nouns. I have given you the uh, answer of that very exercise of noun exercises from your book, Tune into Grammar. And today I will start from practice that is uh, page number 18 ok. Very first beginning from the page 18 that is practice identify the gender of the highlighted nouns ok. Identify the gender of the highlighted nouns. It is very very important ok. So, you have to open your book so that you will able to write this answer or if you want to take any screenshot so you can also take it the video is uh, going to be prepared so no need uh, to take any screenshot every time if you want to download the video from youtube you can do it so that the video will remain with you for a long time permanently ok so now let us begin let us begin from chapter 2nd page number 18 and the segment is practice question number A. Identify the gender of the highlighted nouns. So, here the question is the jury declared its verdict and the prisoner was proved guilty. So, there are two highlighted nouns one is jury second is prisoner so jury and prisoner both are common gender okay now question number 2 the hunter felt sorry for the injured deer and gave it water to drink so, here hunter and deer, hunter is masculine gender, deer is common gender and water is neuter gender. There are three highlighted words, th three highlighted uh, nouns are there. So, first hunter is masculine gender, deer is common gender and water is neuter gender. Now, question number 3, the businessman asked his lawyer to speak to the eyewitness. So, there are three nouns, one is businessman, is masculine gender, lawyer is common gender and eyewitness is also common gender. Now, question number 4, the emperor told the emperor told the shepherd to shoot an arrow to the air. So, here emperor is masculine gender, shepherd is also masculine gender, arrow is neuter gender. Okay, now next. Question number 5. The mere heart its hooves while running through the stony path in the woods. So, here mere, mere is what? Mere is the feminine gender of male horse. Okay, horse mere. Horse means the male horse and female horse is called mere. Now, the wicked duchess the W I C K E D winged duchess captured the princess and looked her in the Landion. So here duchess is feminine, princess also feminine. Question number seven. My grandfather and my cousin used to talk me out of Sundays to pick varies from the tree near the magician's house. So, here grandfather that is masculine gender, 
cousin that is common gender and magician is also common gender the author in an orphan who was raised by his teacher so here author is masculine gender orphan is common gender the actor is quite popular actor is masculine gender okay and question number 10 i fell off the bull onto the soft mud so bull b u l l bull is masculine gender mud is neuter gender now rewrite the sentences by changing the gender my aunt visits her niece every weekend so here would be my uncle visits his nephew every weekend the lady has several dogs on her farm several drakes the lord has several ducks on his farm the son is more talkative than his father the son the daughter is more talkative than her mother question number four her uncle is always very helpful so it would be her aunt is always very helpful question number five our host is very efficient our hostess is very efficient question number six their king is a widower their king is a widower their queen is a widow question number seven her son is a steward here her daughter is a stewardess question number eight the queen owns a mirror the, the king owns a stallion the bridegroom spoke to the priest the bride the bride spoke to the priests priestess question number 10 a policeman dragged him out of the cow, a crowd the police woman dragged it would be her out of the crowd the waitress dropped the soup on the girl the waiters the waiters drop the soup on the girl so here the waiter dropped the soup on the boy question number 12 tell your wife she would be here by 9 am tell your husband he should be here by 9 am okay so these are the answers now go to page number 19 fill in the blanks with the plural forms of the nouns in the brackets the dash were separated from the hard and were lost the buffaloes here in the bracket there is buffalo so you have to read buffaloes B U F F A L O E S buffaloes. Va buffaloes. Okay. We heard dash outside the door and ran down the dash. We heard full 
footsteps outside the door and run down the stairs. The dash campaign outside were beaten by dash. The tracker campaign, the trackers, the trackers campaign outside were beaten by mosquitoes. Mosquitoes. Okay. Now, question number four. All the dash were afraid of the dash that come from the forest. They were comfortable by the dash from the nearly village. So, it would be all the children were afraid of the noises that come from the forest. They were comforted by the by the woman from the nearby village. Question number five: The dash swam in the pond. Goose that would be giz. G double e s e giz. Okay, it is giz. Question number five. Okay, now question number six. The shoemaker asks the dash to make dash for him the shoemaker asks the elves e l v e s to make shoes for him we woke up early morning and heard the songs of dash and dash we woke up early morning and heard the songs of Kakus, C O C K double O S, Kakus and Nightingles, N I G H T A N G A G A L E S, Nightingles. The dash and the smoke come from dash causes great disaster, uh, destruction. The ash to assay, ashes, A S H S, ashes, and the smoke from the volcanoes, U-L-C-A-N-O-E-S, volcanoes, caused great destruction. There is a shop that sells pianos, P-I-A-N-O-E-S, pianos. P-I-A-N-O-S, pianos. Question number 10. The Pied Pied led all the dash out of the town. That is mice. The plural form of mouse is mice. Now go to question number D. Question number D that correct the errors in the sentences make the necessary changes. The earth rotates on its axis A X E S. Here is the uh, spelling mistake. It would be axis A X I X. We saw a hippopotami at the zoo. So it would be we saw a hippopotamus at the zoo the old beggar followed the group of college student for arms so it would be the old beggar followed the group of college students for arms a number of disasters a number of disasters crippled the working of the nations. Number of disasters crippled the working of the nation. There is no error. It is totally correct. And now, uh, okay, question number five. Make sure the ready of the circle equals five centimeters. So it would be radius. Make show the radius of the circle equals 5 centimeters. Question number 6. We witnessed a powerful 
phenomena a while back so it would be we witnessed a wonderful phenomenon a while back on what basis are you filing this complaint so the spelling would be here b a s i s basis on what basis are you filing this complaint now question number 8 the teacher start that he this was one of the many criterion criterion for selection into the team so it would be the the teacher stated that this was one of the many criteria for selection into the team now question number 10 can you give me a pair of scissors so scissor is always plural it should be scissors s c i s s o r s which number 10 she gave me food advices on how to crack the examination he gave me good advice on how to crack the examination now question number e solve the crossword act using compound nouns the clues will help you a green insect that jumps very high and makes a chirping sound that that is question number 5 question number 5 okay we will go to question number 1 okay the first down a room where one sleeps that would be bedroom question number 2 a small area in a room where fire is lit to keep the house warm that is fireplace question number 3 a device on which there are keys denoting the letters of the alphabet and numbers from 1 to 0 along with many other symbols it would be keyboard a large spoon used for eating that is tablespoon okay question number now question number 7 now question number 4 uh, now question number 5 5 is a green insect that jumps very high and makes a chirping sound that is question number 5 grasshopper question number 6 a round object which is kicked about by two teams with an object to strike a goal so it would be football question number 6 is football a place where aeroplanes take off and take off from and land that is question number 10 question number 10 is airport and question number 7 now question 7 is something that one reads every morning to know what is happening around the world that is newspaper question number 7 is newspaper now question number 8 a piece of furniture which is used for holding books it is book shelf s h e l f shelf question number 9 a cascade of water falling from a height that is spring or waterfall it would be waterfall now question number 10 page number 20 question number 10 is a place where aeroplanes take off from and land i have already told you that is airport question number 11 a substance used to clean one stick it is toothbrush okay so students question uh, chapter number 2 that is noun 
ओके नाउन क्वेश्चन आंसर ऑफ एक्सरसाइज इज टोटली कंप्लीटेड नाउ नेक्स्ट आई विल गिव यू द आंसर ऑफ क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री ओके द एक्सरसाइज आंसर ऑफ क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री टिल देन बाई स्टे एट योर होम फोकस ऑन योर स्टडी बाय हैव अ नाइस डे